We're going to give them plenty of places to sit. You're in the wrong spot, homie. You're ejected. Get ejected. Pause that game right there. What is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things. Playing Mega Aquarium. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make sure if you like the video that you see, please don't forget to show your support and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, I had some comments, people saying they wanted me to play this game, and I thought, you know what, let's check it out together, man. I think it'll be super unbelievable and amazing. And so here we are in the world of this land. Oh, we need more filter action over here. In the world of this land, so combine. Oh, this is a new thing. So I started playing the campaign. I played the first part of the campaign so I could get an idea of what the game was like a little bit. But you know, it's always this balance between like playing the game so I know what I'm doing and uh, <clears throat> exploring the game with you and kind of figure out what's going on with you instead of kind of just doing things on my own. So we're gonna add, I think, basic filter. That should fix that guy up right there. All right, feels good, team. Oh no, we don't have we don't have access to this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we could just take this guy and move it. Just squirt it right there. That'll probably work, right? All right, feels good, team. Combine plant across animals. Forty. So these are science points that we're trying to get. It's a new part of the game that we're just getting on the second part of the campaign here. Build a tool station. Uh, that we can do inside of here. Hot tool station action. And I feel like we might as well place our tool station maybe right back inside of here. There we go. Hire at least one staff down inside of here. Fixing and feeding. We'll hire a staff member. Open your aquarium. Combine blah, across animals. Dude, I'm not exactly sure how that's done as far as the science points go because I haven't done it yet. Um, let's check inside of here. Oh, oh, I see, man. All right. So each one of these guys has the number of science points earned whenever guests view this and then open your aquarium so combine okay so these guys are all have all sorts of different attributes uh, and uh re requirements and such so this is a four to nine size it looks like it takes time to grow so by the end of four days it'll be a nine um it will damage crustaceans with size of one or less and requires caves uh animal eats mussels so we're gonna have to have some hot muscle action uh, down inside of here, tool station, muscle dispenser. Uh, let's put a muscle dispenser over here. Wrong. No, wrong. Incorrect. All right. And then has this guy got anything in it? No, it does not. So maybe we'll make this our moray eel deal. So let's go inside of here. And let's go ahead and get our driftwood cave. Like so. Let's check our moray eel out again. It needs two cave. Requires muscles. Zebra moray eel. This thing looks amazing, man. You've placed your first zebra moray eel. The zebra moray starts small, will grow large over time. Grown-up animals are worth more points, but they will only grow if you fulfill all their care requirements and make sure there's enough space in the tank for them to grow into. However, oh no, hover over the growth time icon to find out how many days it takes to grow up and what size it'll be when it's done. All right, so we got 68 of our 40 points inside of here. Now, if we click on this tank, we can see it's gonna be nine when it's done growing, remember? And so the tank can only hold 15. Um, so two, nine times two, 18. So we wouldn't be able to use two more eight eels in the same tank, uh, cause they're gonna get too big. Now these guys are only gonna eat crustaceans. So what we can do here, these guys don't have any growth. Let's go ahead and, oh, uh, let's go like this. Let's do that. Okay, that looks good for me for now. We're gonna need additional filtering on this tank as well. So let's go ahead and grab our basic filter. Squirt it down like so. It's a perfect filter, sex sexually attracted filter situation. Okay, so over here, that got weird for a second. Let's move over to this guy. Let's add another driftwood cave. Uh, this tank will hold, oh, we can close our old tank there. Zero out of 15 again. Let's go ahead and grab another zebra moray eel. And let's put in some more of the, what are they called? Royal Grandmas. What's up, Grandma? We'll put three more of those guys in. And then this tank also is having a little bit of an issue with filtering. We don't have a lot of space here, though. Let's go ahead and take these guys. Move it over. This guy. Move it over. Now, can we take and delete this wall? 
Ah, super sexually attractive. Extend it out, like so. And then now, we can go ahead and add another filter. And that should be good to go. So we're at 62 science. We're good to go on all of our requirements. Let's go ahead and click to open. Bam, we're up for business, baby. Good work, the aquarium is restocked and it's open to public once more. You may have noticed that all of the tanks in North Woods are, are embedded into the walls. They're called unimaginative wall tanks. Okay, wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff from the other. This allows you to keep the aquarium behind closed doors. Uh, talking of doors, the staff door allows your staff through while blocking guests handy. Okay, so it's just saying there are doors. This is great. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to be researching these two fish, one of these two fish. So it looks like this guy has five prestige, a little bit better than the flame angel fish. This one's four prestige. May eat or damage stony coral clams. This guy will screw with crustaceans, has a three day growth period. Coral grouper, I'm gonna research it. So down here in the lower left now, we can see the research. And it's gonna take a little while for that to happen. Hey lady, I'm gonna call you Brenda. Hey, don't be going through that door, Brenda. You just come and hang out over here by the moray eel. Did I hit space? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry, choose now. We've unlocked our first science project. The power combi or the basic pump? Oh, this is a combination of heat. Oh, it's both. Two, and two for one or the basic pump. 300, I'm gonna choose this guy. Build the tank three by three, any animal. Sufficient water quality, sufficient heating. Okay, so this is a, a wall deal, right? They were saying. So what we're gonna do here is we're kind of gonna continue this. I'm gonna take this guy right here and we're gonna move it down into this really type area. Move this guy down over here as well. All right, so we have that guy there. Let's make a space. Let's build a tank right over here. A corner tank, an observer tank. So this is a tank that can be observed from multiple sides. Kind of doesn't leave a lot of room wall tank. I think right here would be a good spot. Put that guy down inside of there. Now, now! Let's go ahead and... Okay, we've just deleted the tank. Uh, let's put another wall tank back in. Put it right there like so. And then let's go ahead and put our wall in. No! These guys! What are you doing to me, man? Okay, hold on a second. Can I, like, grab you? No, you're behind the... You, no, secret, secret. Oh, you're going to come out the door? No, they won't. All right, we'll grab that guy. Squirt them over there like so. Okay, new tank. So we left a little bit of a space here. And it looks like we're we're uh, researching our combi filter deal. We're researching this guy as well. Uh, I'm feeling like... Let's check these guys out. 12 of 15. 12 of 15. 13 of 15. 12. Oh, is that already up there? 13 of 15. Day two, ladies and gentle peeps. Let's do another moray eel deal. So we're going to come inside of this guy here. Go ahead and add that bad ombre. Oh, how come you got to make that a little bit bigger? Wait, what? Wait, what? Can you stretch the tank? How did you get a stretched tank? I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Let me see here. Oh, you just click and drag when you place it. So can we then edit this guy and go like... No, I don't think we can. Uh, let's try it one more time. No, we can't. Okay. Delete. Sell. Tank. Wall tank. We'll make it bigger. He's done it. Nailed it. Ace the can't be stopped. Eject all these trespassers. Get out of here. No. You're behind the scenes. You're going to see how we mistreat all the stuff and things. All right. Like so and like so. All right, sweet. So now we put our cave in like so. A little bit of rubble. Nah, that's too much there. I want some eelgrass. Oh, sexually attractive eelgrass. Seal lettuce. Small rock. Now look at it, man. It looks like a little habitat. All right, sweet. Cool little habitat for these guys. Feels good, team. Moray eel. Where are you at? Oh, wait, what? Oh, there we are. Put that guy in. Oh, we were supposed to build a three by three tank. What? Ladies and gentle peeps. This tank must go. Peace out, all the things. Wall tank. Spin. Spin, spin, spin. 
three by three. Oh, do we need to bows, bulldoze this guy? I can't even talk. Here we go. Three by three tank. Nailed it, Ace the Campy. Stop. Now we can put in our boy like so. Our eelgrass. Maybe here. Eelgrass Tyson. And then we'll put in our... That was such a dad joke. Small rocks here. Sea lettuce there. And see Now maybe more small rocks. And then what does that look like? Ah, oh, looks good, man. I'm down a clown. All right. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, the Moray Eel. He's done it. Uh, we're going to need a filter on this bad boy as well. Oh, are you? He's sleepy. Get out of there anyway. You're not belong. You don't belong back here. Uh, you know what we got to figure out? Where are the doors? There we go. A staff door. I feel like we need another staff door. Maybe over here. Uh, let's doze this guy. Actually, we'll pause the game. This way nobody will get in the back. Staff door. There we go. It's the same on both sides. All right, perfect. And then for our filter situation, let's go ahead and drop one of these bad hombres on like so. Oh, it looks like it's not enough stuff and things. Not enough heat. Basic heater? All right, he's done it. Nicely done. The next stage of the aquarium expansion is down to you. You need to fund the expansion using ticket sales, so keep an eye on your cash flow, accessible by clicking on your current funds. We're at 5,500 right now, 5,580. I'll be in touch once again, uh, or once you've grown to a moderate size. Good luck. Oh my God. So we need to get up to 160 prestige from 77. Holy crap, you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Regular speed, guys. Regular speed. And it looks like also we're having a feeding problem over here. Oh, we're going to have to hire more staff. And people are tired. I have the solution, ladies and gentlemen. Muscle deal. Let's put one down over here. Let's hire new staff. Fixing and cleaning. Hire. Okay, two people. We're G's. Hopefully we're G's. Uh, where did the new guy go? There he is. Stop. Uh, let's go ahead and grab him and squirt him back here. See if he'll go ahead and start to feed these guys straight away. Oh, what you doing, homie? Nope, 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 nope. Come here. Feed! Feed them! Uh, feed them! He's not feeding them. Maybe he's going to go clock in? I don't know what he's going to do. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and make sure these guys have somewhere to rest. So we can do that with these benches. We can squirt a bench down here. Maybe another bench down right here. And another bench over there. And then maybe one right here so they can sit and watch a couple of the aquariums. Get their rest at the same time. There we go. Now he's feeding them. All right, so there definitely needs to be some feeding that goes on. We have the two people who are now working, and they should take care of getting everybody fed. Uh, and we have all the different types of food, right? Yep. Pellets, green, mussels. Looks good, man. We're up to 88 prestige, but inside of this tank, we have room to add more things. And one of the things we can add is a second moray eel. Now, let's take a look and see. Is that a good, is that a smooth move for us? So the eel is nine, and it has four of these guys. This is six for three, four size for two, two size for one. So it's kind of like a two to one. One prestige for a two size, one to three for the royal grandma, two to four for this guy. Dislikes lights, cannot be housed in a tank with lights attached. All right, well, maybe we could put these guys inside here. There we go. That looks pretty cool, man. Uh-oh. Oh, do we need more cave? Interesting. Let's take care of business, peeps. Uh, let's pull that guy out and then that rock out. And then let's go ahead and add in a cave right here. There we go. And now everybody's happy, except we don't have enough flow. We're going to go ahead and delete the heater and add another combi mini. Oh, still not enough. What the? What the? What the? We need another basic filter. There we go. He's done it. He's done it. All right. Stuff and things are looking good, man. We're about to research another fish over here, it looks like. Um, our science points we're still working on. Let me take a look and see how much does it cost to expand the area. So if we were to do this, does it even does it even have a cost? Oh, it does. It does. It shows in the bottom there. So if we were to come up here like this big, it's a thousand bucks. Let's take it down right there. Okay. Hold on. Pause the game. 
Let's add in some walls. These guys don't come behind the scenes. There we go. All right, so now we can add all sorts more stuff and things. It looks like we definitely don't have enough staff. Or we'll hire another one. Just to get that feeding going. All right, feels good team, man. I'm going to expand our little basic aquarium here and see what I can do, peeps. Uh, I will, whoa, where are we? I'll be RBs, peeps. And we're back and we're making moves, ladies and gentle peeps. We're making moves. This little corner tank deal is going to have a couple of places for everybody to sit down over here. People have been a little bit upset about the, the quality of the seating stuff and things. So we're going to give them plenty of places to sit. You're in the wrong spot, homie. You're ejected. Get ejected. Pause that game right there. Delete this bad ombre like so. And let's go ahead and add a staff door in right there like so. All right, we're getting into getting some more tanks in here. I'm gonna add another one of the combi deals. I want it to go like this though. Oh, can I not make it? All right, that's all we can do. And I added in some new fish. So over here we have this guy, the coral grouper by himself. And in here we have the flame angel fish. I just added those guys in and they're growing up right now. And then we made this other big tank over here like a so. We're getting very close to our reward. Uh, Like this, like this, we're gonna cave this bad boy. We're gonna grass it. Like this and like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in some hot, sexually attractive rock action in the back. If we go in, look, look how beautiful. It looks like a real tank deal. All right, <clears throat> so what I've been doing is taking a look at kind of how this is all gonna work out for us. Like the Coral Grouper, for instance. Um, right now it's on cycle one of three to grow up to be nine. It's five large uh, at this moment in time. And so we will be able to fit Six size uh, fish inside of here. Uh, so if we go into this guy and we take a look, we could fit three of these guys. Like so. I think that would be great. And then we can go ahead and add in some more of that. And then maybe a sea lettuce. And then some small rocks like so. Uh, this guy over here. I'm wondering if I could fit. Oh, it's only 15. So wait a second. Let's take a look again at this tank right here. This flame angel fish is going to grow. Oh no, cannot be housed with flame angel fish. Okay. I don't think it actually is going to grow any larger and the tank is only three. So what we could do is squirt another moray eel in here, right? Like so. I think that that would be okay inside of there. And then maybe beautificate this up a touch. Uh, maybe we'll add in some more of this and then go back for a rock deal. And then maybe a rock deal. And then maybe a sea lettuce. Right like so. All right. So inside of this tank now, we have 7 out of 23. This guy is going to grow to be 9. Uh, and this guy over here is 3. So that's 12. We could fit in some other stuff and things. Could we not? The more I eel can't go in with crustaceans. So we could go ahead and add in maybe some of these guys. Wait. Is there something a little bit bigger? This guy needs cave and can't be in with lights. Maybe three of those, like so. And then we do have the corner tank over here. We haven't really done anything with. Uh, what do we want to add inside of here to make this friggin' unbelievable and amazing? Let's look at the fish that we've unlocked so far. The flame angel fish right here. It can't uh, may eat or damage stony corals, clams, or crust or what? Gor Gorgonians? Dude, what's a Gorgonian? Sounds like an alien. Maybe some of these guys, just uh, for something to do. So now we can fit something that's six. Look at that right there. Feels good, team. Uh-oh. Okay, we have a problem with this tanker here. Oh, we don't have a lot of room to fix it either. We're going to need more cave if we want to have what we have inside of here. So let's click on this and let's go ahead and take out that guy and that guy. Let's add in our cave over here, like so. And then it's gonna need a little bit more hot filter action. So since it's just water filtering that it requires, maybe we'll put in a power filter or basic filter. That did, oh, we have to attach it because it's adjacent to two tanks. We have to tell it which tank. All right, that should fix that up right there. We're still having a ton of problem with feeding, but I do have three staff on right now. Um, inside of here, why don't we go ahead and right here. We'll just add in a, one of these guys 
and add in uh, one of these guys right over in this area. That might help. And then I have one of each type over here, but I'm wondering if they're just having to walk too far. So why don't we add one of these guys right over here? Maybe that will help with that. Yeah, they're good to go over there. Good to go over there. We may just need more staff. So I feel like we're good to turn on the day. Let's go ahead, day nine. See if we can earn a little bit more prestige. And uh, actually, I see an opportunity for a sexy bench right there. Let's go, team. Now, I wonder if they'll walk through the benches. Look at that. A couple little benches right over there, like so. We haven't really unlocked any of the other things yet. So we don't have paints, and there's all sorts of additional stuff we can unlock in sandbox mode. Right now, we're a little bit restricted. Oh, baby, look at that. Look at these guys. They're popping off, literally. There's popping noises. We're restricted a little bit by the fact that we're playing in the campaign mode. Let's go over here and see what's going on. How are you, Susie? Susie hates our aquarium. She's leaving. Good. I don't like you either, Susie. Look at our little fish guys, man. How's our moray eel doing? Dude, look at that guy. He's so freaking great. Look, she loves it. Did we just do it? Has he done it? Oh, pump unlock, new pump unlocked. All right, so we still need more prestige. The basic pump. Let's have a look at this bad ombre. So what does it even do? Pumping power can connect two tanks up to seven tiles away. Can connect up to one tank. Interesting. All right, 142 prestige. Stuff and things are happening. This is what it looks like from afar. I'm interested to see, like, I feel like the campaign mode is cool. It's going to restrict us, though. We can make a lot more beautiful things if we were to use the sandbox mode. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm good with this. It's fun, right? It is what it is. So, I'm uh, wondering if over here, why don't we do, like, a bench bench? It seems like they really need benches, man. They need them all over. All right, 150 prestige. We're almost there, peeps. 154, 155, 156. Come on, man. 58! 160. He's done it. Impressive work on the latest expansion. You've proven you're ready for more advanced aquarium design techniques. It's time to learn about pumps. I already got it unlocked, but I don't really know about what it's all about. Oh! Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment away from your tanks instead of attaching your heaters, filters, etc. Directly to the tank. You can attach them to the pump which is several tiles away. Demonstrate your understanding of pumps by building a pump and tank configuration matching the specific specifications in your objective. That is friggin' cool, man. So we gotta expand this guy out and try those pumps out. All right, so in order to make this happen, we're gonna pause the game right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and expand this bad ombre, like so. And just give it a little bit more space. But I got to tell you what, ladies and gentle peeps, that's going to be it for today. We're out of time. Thanks for joining me for Mega Aquarium. Make sure if you want to see more of this game, don't forget, show your support, smash the like button. Feel free to share and favor the video as you see fit. Pause. Wait, 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 ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. Keeping those kids out of the back of the tank. There we go, peeps. Thanks for watching. And may the stuff of things be with you.